Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be doing a makeup look using nothing but Cinegents products. And I have got some foundations, I've got a tinted moisturizer, I've got lip products, some shadow scents. I've got just an arrange of Cinegents products that I'm going to be trying out and demoing for you live. If you are interested in seeing how I got this makeup look and a little bit more information on these products and how they perform, then just keep on watching. I am on a brand new setup right now. I'm actually using my phone. Um, I'm not really able to zoom it from anything I can tell with the camera forward facing me. So currently this is the setup that I'm going to have to have. Let me know how you guys like it. If you prefer the other camera or this, please let me know. Now, today I'm going to be filming a video that I have been wanting to film for a long time. And today I'm going to be doing a full face using nothing but Cinegents products. Now, you're probably the most familiar with Cinegents products for their lip scents. Um, but they have like a whole skincare line, makeup line, like they've got it all. It's, it's like 11 o'clock right now. And I, I just feel chatty this morning. I just feel like hanging out. I just made me a brand new cup of coffee and like this mug is bomb. So today I'm not going to use a primer. I am actually just going to use the Cinegent Tinted Moisturizer under my foundation. Now I, I had a friend that was selling Cinegent's products and I thought, I have mine in the shade Light by the way, I think it only comes I think it only comes in two shades, light and medium, which, you know, like anything else, like you gotta get your shade range on point, you know what I mean? And I like applying this with my fingers, guys, this tinted moisturizer. Um, but anyway, I had been watching her videos and I really liked, you know, the way, I, I was just interested in trying it because you guys know your girl likes some makeup, you know what I mean? So I just, I wanted to try it. It was different. I had been hearing some stuff about it, but had never tried it. So anyway, I started watching some of her videos and she, I think I actually did pretty well selling it. But I was talking to her and she was like, well, you know, if you sign up to sell it, you can get a discount. So you guys, I, the products that I'm going to be showing you guys today normally retail for eight hundred dollars not doll hairs okay dollars and uh i ended up getting it for half price which is 400 but i actually planned on selling it and um trying to make some money you know and possibly like claiming that 400 back is like an expense but yeah, I never sold it. <laughs> the thing is, like, the reason I think that I can't really sell a product in general is because I like makeup so much. I don't like using the same thing all the time. You know what I mean? And if you're going to sell something, then you need to be wearing it yourself. Um, but I just, I can't wear Like, no matter what, no matter how much I like something, I always switch out my makeup. Like, all the time I would usually like I used to set up a bag that I would use like every week like I'm gonna use these products this week and like that way I would make sure I was using everything that I had sorry guys I need coffee today you're just gonna have to excuse that by the way guys this color correcting tinted moisturizer retails for $45 and you are getting one fluid ounce. Now, I do really, really like this moisturizer. Like, you can tell how much I've used it started down here, okay? And it's got, it's got like this air pump, which I love. That way you are using every little bit of product. I think that is fantastic. It has a pump. 
Um, the packaging of it is, like I like the thought behind it, but the actual packaging I think is pretty lame, you know what I mean? Like if you're spending that much money, it'd be cool to have it look cute. It's supposed to be more, it's not cutesy, it's not a cutesy brand, it is a skincare brand essentially it is long lasting makeup with skincare benefits so it says that this helps to correct redness and discoloration and helps to decrease age spots and sun damage while providing a mechanical shield to your face so like from free radicals uv rays um so I don't know what a mechanical sunscreen is. Anyway, I will say that this really does help with redness. Like I have worn just this, like you can apply more and especially with your fingers, like when I would only wear the tinted moisturizer, I would just like pat it on the areas that I wanted more coverage. Like I would rub it all over my face like I just did, but then I would sit there and pat on the areas that I wanted more coverage. Let it sit for a few minutes, then set it with powder, done deal. Okay, but I wanna show you guys everything I got. So, we're gonna use the foundation, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is gonna be our base. And it is a moisturizer, so that's pretty cool. And, you know, usually for moisturizers, you are spending in that ballpark, if not more, a lot of the times anyway, so, I feel like that's not a bad price for that moisturizer and it does have skincare benefits. It does have some color correcting properties to it. I will say that it really does guys. I really love the tinted moisturizer. Like if I could suggest one product from this line overall, like over anything that I have tried, this would be the product that I would tell you to pick up. Um, I, if you are just somebody that likes to look put together but get out of the door real quick and this is giving you some pr protection I really like this so if you can take away one thing from this video I would say the tinted moisturizer is where it's at all right so now now that I've rambled on like if you can't tell I like that rambled on for about 10 minutes um now we are going to move on to the anti-aging foundation because if you could pick between a non-anti-aging foundation and an anti-aging foundation which one do you go to i need all the help i can get i will admit it so this foundation is one ounce and it retails for sixty dollars so i have the shade cream beige there were more shade options in the foundation for sure and I think I'm going to blend out my foundation with my Real, Tec Real Techniques brush. And this is the Expert Face Brush. This retails for like 10 bucks. But I remember I used to use this brush like religiously like every single day. And I can't tell you the last time I used this brush before right now. Like I have not used this brush in so long. From where I was doing my cousin's makeup, I told you guys I have a bag of brushes. Well, I didn't want to use, you know, dirty brushes on her. And we're talking about a Saturday morning, so I'm not going to go home and wash my brushes on a Friday night. Like, sorry. So, I just pull out some brushes that I hadn't used in a while. Like, there's nothing wrong with them. They just aren't my favorite ones. So, they're not the ones that I use all the time. So I went through and pulled out some brushes for her and then I um, pulled out some for me too because I have experience with all of these products that I am going through right now, which I will get to, but uh, I remember a brush being necessary like with the foundation I just think it gives a better finish than with a sponge I really like blending it in and it is one of those that I remember being kind of sticky like one that you really want to set and 
and I remember it kind of being quick drying. So, just a heads up. Which there's nothing wrong with any of that stuff. You just have to know how to work with it, you know? And with like barely anything on my brush, I'm going over my eyes, guys. That's like after I've blended everything to filth and then there's like barely anything on my brush. Now, I have got a freaking demon over here on my face. <sighs> Just came out of nowhere, you know what I mean? Um, usually I'm somebody that's kind of, that is like more reserved as far as just sharing things or information. But I just feel chatty today, so I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, but getting back to these products. Um, I got them all, I signed up to be a distributor, which to do that, it's like a $55 fee and they send you like a whole little startup set. It's like a book um, from the creator, which is, I can't remember her name, to be honest with you, sorry. Like a little USB, get some little flyers, like to read about some of their stuff. You get a little magazine. Like nothing necessary, you know? I wish I would've just sent like a kit of makeup. And they did have those kits where you could get like not full size products of their makeup just to try but you could get it for a really affordable price like a hundred dollars you could get a kit with like a whole bunch of stuff in it and um they were sold out like what but anyway i in short if you want any of this any of these products that i will be using i doubt my distributor code is still active if it is i'll link it down below I will also, regardless, link one of my friends down below. Her name is Addie, and um, known her for a real long time, and she sells this stuff, and she uses this stuff, and I think she primarily uses this makeup brand, and she always looks so glowing and beautiful, and she's just a really sweet person. She's very trustworthy. If you were going to take your business to somebody, um, she is a working mother. And women supporting women, I just think that that's great. So, I have got this foundation all blended out. And like I said, this is one fluid ounce. It retails for $60. Now, this has a Cineplex complex and Cineshield technology. So, I see I did do a little bit of research, you know what I'm saying? I didn't come at y'all with nothing. Okay, so, the Cineplex Complex, that is a, it has a kinetic enzyme in it that helps to, it produces energy. So, basically what it does is it helps, it's, it literally speeds up your skin renewal process by 23.3%, which... How did they get the 23.3? <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, they say that it is clinically proven. Studies have shown. Um, so, yeah, it's got that in there, which I ain't hating on it. Like, high-end foundations most of the time are around $40. So, $60, that is pushing it a little bit. Like, that is getting up there. Like, are you... Armani. <laughs> it is getting up there in price. I will say that. Do I think it's anything amazing? It does last a long time, which it should for that price. It really does last a long time. It does. It has got decent coverage. I like the finish of it. Is it worth $60? I mean, I like it. <laughs> I'm not going to like push it on you and say oh yeah it's such a good deal go for it it's sixty dollars you know what i mean that's a high-end foundation for sure but it does have skincare benefits in it so if you only use that you may see skincare benefits i don't so to me it's not worth it because i'm constantly 
constantly changing out my foundations and everything like that's one of my favorite things I'm not going to use just one because I'm always searching for a better one like what's the my favorite one you know what I mean like so to me I don't see any of those benefits so to me it's not worth it but we're all different now I am going to be pulling out some shadow scents now shadow scents are $22 and like I said whenever I was buying all of my stuff um, I wanted to get things that doubled as other items you know what I mean because I wanted to spend the least amount of money but still be able to do like a full face of makeup so there are two colors that are actually good concealers and like I said that is the thing with these products they're so versatile you can really mix and match of how you use different products these all the shadow senses retail for $22 if I didn't mention that and they are a cream to powder finish they do have matte shades they've got shimmer shades I think now they might even have metallic shades like they've got a lot of new things since I was last on the website um, buying products, but I have seen some people that I know uh, Post some things so I am going to be using the shade candlelight, which is more of a pinky type color and As you know like pinky peach type shades really high darkness so I'm going to be putting that around my eyes and then I'm gonna go in with the shade actually no I'm not because that is shiny I'm just gonna go in with what we got right here and I'm going to use that same brush we use for the foundation and I'm just going to pat that into my skin now these shades, what I have found with them is that you do not need to put a, and I'm putting a little bit of that concealer on my eye, which will kind of act as a primer for my shadows, but these shadows I have found you don't really need a primer with, and they uh, stay for a really long time. Okay. Now, I am going to be showing you guys a product that I think is a complete waste of money and just ridiculous, to be honest with you. Oh, those shadows. Sorry, I'm terrible, guys. The shadows also have the Cineplex Complex in it, so it is anti-aging for your lids, which that is a place I think we all could use it um, I think if I had some more like metallic type shades from the shadow line I think I would like it a lot better the colors that I got like I said are just kind of for being multi-purpose so I was kind of limited to what I bought now I'm going to set all of this down with the translucent loose translucid loose powder this retails for fifty dollars fifty dollars um pretty ridiculous considering this is two grams here for 50 bucks and this is 20 grams for about five or six bucks and this is a great powder like there is nothing wrong with this powder this powder performs like a high-end powder this one they say has anti-aging properties in it. It doesn't say what those anti-aging properties are. It doesn't say it has the Cineplex Complex in it, anything like that. It just says that it is anti-aging. So, um, oh, by the way, it has a brush on top of it. The brush is trash. Like, the powder in here, it's not a bad powder from what I remember. I haven't used it in forever, so we're going to see again, but... Um, I remember it not being a bad powder. I actually used this powder a lot and the reason that my Physicians Formula bronzer looks so busted in the lid here, like how it looks all 
just gross, not see-through anymore. It looks like that because I used to pour this powder, which I'm going to do today, into this little lid here, and that's where I would grab it from. So, you don't need a lot of this powder. This powder will last you a very long time, the two grams that you get. But I'm just saying, like, if you have two grams here, or freaking, is it two grams? I think it's two grams. Let me look. I've got, I feel like a real YouTuber right now. I've got my uh, laptop here. We're going to clarify this once and for all. Because I did look this stuff up, but I forgot. Guys, I did my hair today with something I got in my Ipsy bag. I will link that video above. Um, but I'm using the Aura Bay Matte Waves Texture Lotion for your hair. I really like it. Like, I don't think it did anything crazy. I had my hair up in a bun. Like, I just had wet hair, and I just did a bun with it yesterday. So, when I took it down today, it was, like, kind of wavy already. So, that's good because I normally have pretty straight hair. So, I just, I spritzed my hair with water just to get it uh, damp again. And then I put the Orbe Matte Waves Texture Lotion in. And the, the lotion, it does, your hair does feel beachy. It just feels like light like not heavy or weighed down like it did right time I took my hair out of that bun it just feels nice and light and like it does have some texture it just feels fresh that's the best word I could describe so I do I really like this I did have to use a good bit of it but then again <laughs> my hair is pretty long so all right let's see here about this powder It's six grams. So see, I was wrong. I feel bad. I feel better now that I clarified that. Okay, so six grams here for six for fifty dollars. Six grams for fifty dollars, or twenty grams in the Maybelline Fit Me for about five or six. And this is a good powder. This is a good powder as well. Sorry, this is going to be a really rambly video. So just make yourself comfortable. I don't know why I feel so chatty today. Probably maybe because this is my second cup of coffee. Maybe that's why. Okay, so I just have my little um, wet sponge from Ulta and I'm just going to pat this in. I feel like when I really don't pat the product into my skin, I feel like sometimes the brush can like clump it all in an area that I might not necessarily want so that's really why I do it the way that I do I know some people think that's probably so extra and it, it is but I mean sometimes you just have the way that you like doing things and once I get stuck in my ways I'm a little bit hard to correct okay So this is, I mean, it's a very nice powder. I have no complaints. No complaints on the powder. It is, it says it's translucent. I think it does have a little bit of a color, so I think if you were a very deep skin tone, I don't, unfortunately, I don't think you could use this. Um, if there are any dark skin ladies out there that have, let us know how it worked. Um, but I don't think that it, that it could just because it does have a little bit of a tint to it. But, I mean, I don't have any complaints on how it performs. It does set everything down. Doesn't look cakey. If you guys hear anything, I think one of my neighbors is doing some yard work or something. I can hear like a drill or something in the background. Alright, so that is the base. Looks pretty good. I can still see some spots. It is not the fullest coverage, um, but it doesn't look bad. I mean, I 
will leave the house like this no problems and by the way that brush just kind of screws off of here there's like a little um, powder insert inside the brush which is kind of weird but these brush hairs they shed and they are just so rough if you got this powder I would not recommend using that brush that comes along with it because it's pretty garbage but the, the product inside is is good I would not recommend it just because it's so expensive and it's nothing you know out of the ordinary I mean it's a translucent powder you know what I mean all right now something that you might think I'm crazy for doing but I'm going to do it anyway is um I'm going to take one of the shadow senses. This is in the color Mocha Java. It is a matte, matte brown shade. I'm going to use that to like contour, bronze up the face. So I remember you just needing a little bit of this. And I remember you needing to blend it in super quickly. Because if not, it would kind of concentrate itself and end up looking a little bit harsh which I don't like anything harsh looking on my face I really like blending things out and things just going together kind of seamlessly you know what I mean so that is like one side of the face done versus not done. And you can see how this side just looks kind of like picked up and like smaller, you know what I mean? So I just think that's fun to look at. Now I've got this freaking honking thing here, so. You know. I'm using a It Cosmetics Double Ended foundation brush. I think I got this like in a 10 day special value from probably QVC. I used to be really in <laughs> to QVC and stuff. QVC and HSN. I used to like check them every day for their today special value. Like when I first started getting back into makeup because they would have like pretty good deals. What I thought was pretty good deals on some of their kits. Now that I have, you know, been into makeup for quite a while again, um, I feel like I can find some pretty good deals, you know? The thing is, is just being quick about it, I feel like, because a lot of the times, super good deals sell out. You know, I mean, for good reason, but... I feel like a super good deal if you're looking to build your makeup collection is BoxyCharm. If I, I think if I had to recommend one subscription box, I would recommend BoxyCharm because it's full size products every month, 21 bucks, and um, it just helps you. I mean, it's, it's a lot of stuff sometimes that you wouldn't even think to purchase on your own but it's stuff that you would like you know so I don't know I just like it for that reason as well now I'm going to take a shade called mulberry it is just like a nudie type of pink like mauve shade I'm actually going to use that as my blush and I should probably do one cheek at a time Now, I like this um, It Cosmetics brush because it came with a foundation, or, yeah, I think it came with a foundation, or a, uh, oh, I think I know what it was. It was a face kit that I got from It Cosmetics. God, that was forever ago because that was like when I literally first started buying makeup again um, since I had my daughter. 
what she's 10 years old now so it's probably when she was about one I started wearing makeup again started feeling like I could actually do something for myself I was very young when I had her and uh, I just I wanted to do everything for her but like no help you know what I mean from anybody I just wanted it to be me and my husband mainly me though because she was breastfed which means I fed her every feeding so anyway I don't know how we got so off topic there <laughs> I am really loving this shade as a blush color it's so nice and natural looking okay now I am going to take sandstone pearl and I'm actually going to use this as a highlight now that is a reason that I do love this brand like their shadow scents I really do like because they are so versatile now I feel like there is kind of a learning curve because if I would have just used like my finger or something to blend this out, you wouldn't get the best effect. Like there is a learning curve, I will say, um, just how you use these products. And they do have kind of a sticky texture in general. They really do. I think that's how they stay on so long but you can see that's a very natural looking highlight nothing crazy all right we're gonna have to blend quickly And this is more of this product than I even used to use. I just got to where I really like highlight a lot. So I'm not even used to applying this much of this product onto my face. I remember not using it that much. But I think this brush really helps. It is a densely packed, like fluffy brush though. Like it does have a lot of hairs. But they still, like you're still, it gives, it has some give to it, you know what I mean? Like it's not so densely packed that it's still kind of fluffy, but it is dense at the same time. It's just a really good mix. So that is that. I really love that, guys. I like the, all, all three of these. I really, really do love. And I'm going to do my eye makeup with the same, like, colors with the mulberry the brown and then this is the highlight I really do like it okay now for blending I got this this other real technique real techniques brush and this was from like a kit they had out around the holidays a year or two ago might have been last year I don't know it is the deluxe crease brush and it is a it's just a thick crease brush like, I don't know if you could tell how thick that is but I'm going to take this wand out. I am not even going to mess with that tip. I'm just going to tip this like on the wand. That's why, I mean, these products are a little bit expensive. But if you do get colors like this, I feel that you can use for different things. Um, they really last a long time. A, there is skincare benefits in these products. And if you're using them on your face as a cheek product, well then guess what? Your cheek product has skincare benefits in it. You know? Um, so yeah, I do. I really like these as well. This, the tinted moisturizer. 
and you guys know that I like a mauve purplish eye like <laughs> as you can tell by just about every eye color that I do I love that I think that's why I like that Norvina palette so much if you guys have not watched that I will link it it is a pretty long video, but I do four eye tutorials in it, as well as give you guys some swatches. And I'm just building this color up, guys, because I say it all the time, you can always add more. It's much harder to take something away, so you might as well just go slow and take your time. Now there is a darker brown shade in the shadow sense that I wish I would have got. And in fact, I, when I go to check and see if I can upload that link, like my distributor, whatever number, um, once I go to see if that's even still active, if it is, I'm going to probably order me the garnet shade. And if not, I will probably order that through Addy because all these products are long lasting, right? Well. I bought this Mocha Java shade in hopes that it would be like a cheek contour, an eyeshadow, and a brow product for me, but it's just, it's too light for my brows, and Garnet is just a deeper brown, so that's probably what I'm going to use. Okay, what are we going to do now? I think I am going to apply some of the sandstone pearl to my brow bone area up there. And I'm just going in with that same crease brush, guys. And I'm just gonna put that under my brow bone. This is a natural highlight. And then I'm going to take some of that brown shade and just put that on the outer corners of my eye. And I'm going to do something with this look. I am going to add in one of my Butter London Glazing Lid Products. And basically, like if you've seen the Stila glitter things, which I have, I have three of those, and I think I, I think I've done a video using one of them. I need to use them more. I don't use them enough, but anyway, it's like those. It's a glitter liquid eye product that goes on and it just really stays all day and the glitter doesn't get all over the place it really stays where you want it and I really like that you know so this is in the shade moonshine and it comes with a little cover to make sure it doesn't dry out because guys it is literally like jelly now I probably will just use what is on this lid but I'll show you it just looks very moosey I'll give you guys a little swatch like there that is like what <laughs> what but yeah that's it that's it that is what we are going to be putting on our eyeballs today. I can't wait. Ooh. Let me get that off of me before I get it everywhere. Okay. I use this side on my lamp just a Lancome brush that I have it's a double ended it's like an eyeliner slash little packer brush I'm gonna use the packer brush and I'm going actually I guess I'll dip into here I think it's a little bit more liquidy 
like light on that side. Okay, I'm just gonna pick that up on my brush and apply that right to my eye. It's not really producing the color that I want. Maybe I didn't pick up enough. Oh yeah, there we go. So you can kind of see it. It's really, I think I'm gonna have to add some more of that brown and see, I wish I had that darker brown like garnet shade from uh, Cinegents. It's just not applying how it used to. Like it's not looking that metallic is the thing. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Like I did, I have heard that these dry out quickly, but I haven't used them that much. So I didn't think that that would be the case, but yeah, those appear to go bad pretty dang quickly. So I think I'm just going to apply some more of that brown over there on those sides of my eye just like where those meet and kind of into the crease a little bit and then I'm going to blend that together Oh yeah, that looks pretty. Very pretty. Is it neutral? Yes. I really like more neutral type shades, just in general. Like looks, you know what I mean? Not shades, like looks. Yeah, I'm going to take some of candlelight and I think I'm actually gonna like clean. Alright guys, so this is where we are at. Now, I think I'm going to do just my regular Coastal Scents palette with my little brown shade right here for my brows. Which I need to find. I kind of need to find my brow thing, but... I'm gonna try to just go ahead in with this Lancome brush. It's thicker. Yep. It's a lot thicker than the one I used though. So, and see, this is just because I'm being lazy. I don't feel like getting up right now. But I do love, I've been loving using a powder again for my brows. Just because I feel like it's so easy. <laughs> That's really why I love it. That looks completely different, right? That's this is like I'm here. She's here to play. So I'm just going to do the other eye. All right. So I've got my brows done. Now I think I'm going to do my lower lash line. 
And to do that, I'm just going to take this brown shade and I'm going to take the more flat packer type end of our brush. It's still fluffy though. So it works well for blending out color under the lash line. And again, this is where I kind of wish I had that darker shade to just deepen it up a little bit more, but this is okay. My video cut off earlier, so I hope <laughs> that I didn't go too long without catching it. Okay, so I have a black. Now, the black is supposed to be for a liner, obviously, and I just, I don't know if I want to use it. I may use it just for the sake of this video. Okay, so this is the color Onyx, and that's what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna use it for an eyeliner. All right, this one I am gonna rub like on the little tip right here. And I'm gonna kinda angle it down because I want it to be right by that lash line. Okay. I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I'm just going to keep it just like that. I will have to practice my wings for you guys off camera. <laughs> and once I get decent at it, I'll put it in a video. I do want to get better at a wing because I think that they look so pretty on a lot of other people. Alright, one down, one to go. This is going to be such a late check-in. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking about because I didn't start until like 11. And it is taking me a minute because I'm just being chatty today. But these are really like my favorite videos to film. It's just like... The super laid back ones, um, where I can just like talk and be myself. Okay. So I really like that actually. And these, like I said, they don't go anywhere. So using those as a liner is really good. I'm really liking this look so far, guys. Um, more than I even thought I would. So that's interesting. Now it could go drastically wrong with the next product. Where is the next product I was going to talk about? I might have thrown it away, to be honest with you. Or I might have it in here in this bag. I, uh, next product is for my lashes so this this little bad boy used to be a double it used to be a under sense and then uh Cinegent's, uh mascara well i went to screw on my mascara one day and it just once it screwed on it kept screwing this is still, this used to be the little lash thing. I just broke that off because I couldn't get this out. Like, no matter how hard I twist it, can't get that off. But I still have the under scents that we can try. And it's supposed to be like a moisturizer for your lashes. I don't know. I don't really think that this is a great product. And it said that the mascara uh, was moisturizing as well. Never made your lashes feel brittle. My lashes used to feel super brittle after I used it, actually. Um, so, 
It was super black though, I'll give it that. It was super black, but it also made me feel like I had little straws on my eyeballs. And that was 20 bucks. Now these are just my experiences with, th with these products, guys. I'm not gonna lie about anything. These are my experience with the products. Now, this, as long as it doesn't, it's not clumping my lashes together, which is nice. Um, and it's also a darker shade, so it's not like a white that you have to cover up, which I like. It's more like a bluish gray color, honestly. You can't really see it that much on your eyelashes. But what I like is that it's not clumping my lashes together like the Lancome Seals Booster. While I love that one and I have got a lot of use out of it, I feel like it it um, starts clumping your lashes pretty quickly um, once you start using it. Like mine is already starting to go bad. Hold on, I have to go get a mascara. Alright guys, I am just going to use Old Faithful, my Wander Unlashed, what is it, it's a volumizing, volume and curl mascara. Alright guys, I'm back, isn't it crazy what some mascara can do, like I highly recommend this mascara guys, it is, it builds on itself so good like I love this mascara um okay I think we are about done the only thing left is the lip scents which they are famous for okay so I have a few shades I only have one gloss now the lip scents colors are $25 each. These will last you forever. Like these will probably go bad before I can use them, like for sure. I have got a few colors here. I have got blue red. I have sheer berry. Apple cider. Apple cider was not a color that I liked. I thought I would really like it because it's like a nudie peach shade. It doesn't look good on my lips, on my lips anyway. Now, Napa, that's a color that I really loved. Bella, I really love this one as well. Pink Champagne, that's a nice mixing shade. I got Caramel Apple, very pretty, vibrant, uh, shimmery pink. And then Praline Rose, which is a nudie type shade, which was one of my favorites. I am going to mix some shades. I think I'm going to do two coats of the Praline Rose and then one of, I think I'm going to do Sheer Berry on top. Now with these, you do want to mix them for 10 seconds, just uh, shake them up. This is a long lasting formula. It says it does not dry out your lips. Um, I don't know, it's not very moisturizing, I will tell you that. But that's why you wear the gloss on top of it. Uh, but they are smudge proof, I will say that. They are transfer proof. They are long lasting. It's supposed to last anywhere from four to 16 or 18 hours on your lips. And that all depends on how you're taking care of your lips. Like if you're only using this product and you're exfoliating your lips and you're reapplying your gloss, that's how you're going to get the most wear out of these. Now if you're wearing outside uh, lip balms and things like that, it's not gonna last as long. And I haven't used these in a while. I've been using different products. So I don't know how long this is gonna last on me, to be honest with you. I'm really liking this, the finish of the foundation and just how everything looks. It looks very natural, like nothing is like, oh, she's got blush on right there, you know what I mean? It just looks like my skin, which I love. I love the way that this is looking. Um, but anyway, just shake it up. Now, this has got a high alcohol content in it. You do not want to leave this in your car. 
or anywhere that it's going to get really hot. And again, this is Praline Rose. It does kind of sting when you put it on if you're not used to it or if you're just starting to use it. It stings a little bit. I wouldn't even say as much as an intense lip plumper. But you're going to want to go from one side to the other. Um, like you're not going to want to go back and forth. And let it dry in between layers. So about the color on my lips. Okay, two coats. Okay. Oh, I love this color. starting to get sticky oh yeah oh that's what's cool with these is that you can mix the colors <laughs> all right so this is sherry I kind of like just the color that it is honestly do I really want sherry uh, I might just keep this one It. I'll do the Shirari just for y'all. I do like that frailing by itself. Okay. So this should just give it some shine. A little bit of pinky tone. Okay, so you're just going to let this dry for a few seconds, and I'm just going to help speed this up, and then I have the Glossy Gloss. All of the glosses are 20 bucks, and they have different kinds. I just had the Glossy. It's the most generic. Yeah, I wish I would have just left it the color that it was. And then just going to add the gloss. And the gloss is going to help you have some lasting power. So this is the finished look. I don't like it feels very heavy. So I don't and the gloss doesn't taste good either. Like if you lick your lips it doesn't taste good. You know? So while they are the most well known for their lip products like when I'm going for something like this I do like it I do because like nothing is coming off that is all gloss like there's nothing on my hands guys that is just gloss like clean hand 
There's nothing on my hand with the exception of gloss. That gloss is very thick and it is very moisturizing, I will say that. It's got vitamin E and shea butter in it. So it is very moisturizing for your lips. Now, if you can find a good color that you like in this lip scent, it is great because it doesn't come off. Um, it will last for hours. Uh, I do think that some of the shades are a little bit tricky, like this one. I can guarantee you right now I'm not going to wear this. It's in the shade Blue Red. I'm not going to wear that. I only got it because I was planning on selling the stuff. And that was when I was too scared to do anything. Um, so, whatever. I really highly recommend Praline Rose. I know that for a lot of people this is a favorite shade. Sheer Berry is a nice shade if you're into colors like this. It's a purpley type of a shade. Napa runs very purple. It's like a shimmery type of a shade though. I really like Napa. Bella is actually comes off a little darker than it is in this tube, but I really like Bella as well. Out of all the ones that I have, these are my favorites and Praline Rose and Bella are probably my top two favorite out of the ones that I own. Now, basically what you do with these colors is that you put your color on in the morning and then all you take with you is your gloss. And just after you eat or something like that, apply your gloss. It will help prolong the color. By the end of the night, you might have a little bit of flaking, but it's not going to give you like the butthole lip. This is the finished look. I'm going to spray a little bit of my Ulta Dewy Setting Mist. Whew. I just, I love the smell. I really love the smell of that stuff and just how it makes my skin feel. It just feels so nice. Alright guys, so this is going to be the finished look. I really like it. Um, I will probably do a check-in with you guys and just see how the makeup is wearing. But right now, this is where I'm at. And let me see what time it is. Alright, it is currently 12.23, so a little bit of a late check-in start for us, but we'll see how long we can wear this throughout the day, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I am sitting on my front porch right now. I just got back from a birthday party. I've been outside for like the past three... Get out here, <laughs> I've been outside for like the past three hours. I still think everything looks pretty pretty good let's see if I can get a better view that's probably more accurate but yeah it still looks fine my hair is looking a little bit rough so just ignore that but yeah I don't think that it looks bad at all so we will see how this is doing a little bit later hello guys this is my final check-in not what either of us were expecting, I'm sure. It is like 8.45 a.m. I fell asleep last night with my makeup on. I have had this on for 21 hours now. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. It obviously has worn off in places. But the lip product that I wore... It, you can see a little bit is still hanging on here. It looked really good until about the five hour mark, but I haven't worn those lipsticks in a really long time and for them to wear all day, they really have to be something that you're wearing consistently because I'm, I'm sure I had like some buildup from other lip products on my lips, uh, just from where I haven't been wearing those religiously. And... The face makeup, I went to, I technically went to sleep at about 
midnight or a little bit after and it still looked really good at that point like no issues no complaints if I had to if I had to recommend anything to you guys I would say the tinted moisturizer for sure I do like the shadow scents as well I think those are very versatile you can use them on your eyes you can use them all over your face for different things like we did like uh, bronzer contour blush highlight concealer eyeliner uh, even a brow product if you have the right color I think those are very very versatile and you can really get your money's worth out of those and then if you did find a lip color that you like I think it would be worth it and especially like one that's maybe a darker color or a more bright color one that you don't want going all over the place because once you put this lipstick down it does not move so I think for those darker colors I think you would really get your money's worth out of it because it would be something you don't have to worry about now for a more neutral color I mean who can't just throw on a neutral lip all day you know just to touch up just throw it on so those are just my thoughts. I really do like the brand. I think it's great that it has skincare benefits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.